Hello, everyone. This is Kaizen Base. Today we learn about the three key persons of the Toyota production system. Do you know who created the Toyota production system? We will introduce the three key persons and learn the beginnings of just in time and the automation with human touch. So, let's get started with today's lecture. Meal, you learned just in time and the automation with human touch yesterday. Do you know who made those two pillars? Um, who made them? Mr. Toyota? Oh, that's kind of correct. You can understand deeper the Toyota production system by knowing who and what hope created it. That is interesting. What kind of people are the three? Okay, let's learn about it. Listen over coffee. Kiichiro Toyota, the founder of Toyota Motor Corporation, thought up just in time in the two pillars of the Toyota production system. He was the oldest son of Sakichi Toyota, the founder of Toyota Industries Corporation. Now Toyota Motor Corporation has been one of the biggest companies in the world. But after World War II it faced a financial crisis and had to restructure. At that time, Japan had lower productivity than the US overwhelmingly. Then Kiichiro was afraid that Japan should catch up with the US in three years. Otherwise, the Japanese automobile industry will be dead, and started a research to improve productivity. As a result of the thorough research on the difference between productivity in the US and that in Japan, and the factor of high costs, he finally found that Japan needed just in time to survive. That was to respond to needs in the small lot production of many products by just in time. I see. Just in time was born of the founders hope to continue and develop the automobile industry in Japan. You're right. He must have had a strong will. And Sakichi Toyota, a father of Kiichiro Toyota, thought up the automation with human touch. He was one of the most famous inventors in Japan and brought many inventions to the world. His typified invention is the non-stop shuttle change Toyota automatic loom, Type G, which automatically stop if yarn broke. Do you know the reason why to stop automatically in breaking yarn was epic making? Well, did it make little losses? Exactly. Until then, there were only machines that did not stop and continue to work even if yarn broke. The machine continued to make defect products until an operator stopped it. Therefore someone had to keep watching it. But this invention made a big change. If yarn broke, an operator knew that because the machine stopped. So the operators who were watching ones became unnecessary. Then one operator became able to operate not only one machine but many machines. You might take it for granted, but it was very revolutionary to improve productivity greatly at that time. The automation with human touch begun from this type G. The automation with human touch is an idea born from problems in the actual site. I feel destiny because both just in time and the automation with human touch came from the demand by the time. There is a big difference between knowing only the words and knowing the background. Well, you told me the key persons were three, didn't you? Who is another one? You already told me both just in time and the automation with human touch. Okay. Now I explain the third person. The third key person is Taiichi Ono. Taiichi Ono embodied and systematized the two philosophies of just in time and the automation with human touch. Taiichi Ono was the person who became from a site worker to a vice president of Toyota Motor Company. He tried steadily to embody the philosophies that everyone could not understand. It seems that he had a tough time at first. It is said that he took a long time to form the idea because when he had explained his idea, no one had understood it. His effort, like that, made the Toyota production system spread over not only Toyota Motor Corporation but also other industries widely. Oh, what a great story! Mr. Ona must have been a person to be encouraged by his firm belief. Now, I'm more and more interested in the Toyota production system. That's good. 
The Toyota production system supposes to be the basic idea of production activity and the way to face not only production but also a business. To learn it sincerely should be useful for many situations. I see. I will learn more. Now, we make a summary of today's lecture. The Toyota production system is a production system created by three key persons. The way of thinking of just-in-time Kiichiro Toyota created was born from a strong will that unless Japan caught up with the US, the Japanese automobile industry would be dead. Sakichi Toyota created the idea of the automation with human touch by his hope to solve the problems in the site, his wisdom, and his ingenuity. And, Taiichi Ono embodied and systematized the two philosophies of just-in-time and the automation with human touch as a production system. Although others could not understand his idea initially, he did not give up and try to have them understand it. As a result of his effort, the system was finally formed. We, in the present day, should inherit our predecessors will and efforts. That's all about today's lecture. So, see you at the next theme.